Hello and welcome to Caustic Reviews. Today we are reviewing a Jack the Reaper action figure from Mesco. Welcome to White Chapel. <laughs> that would be like a proper Halloween laughter. Yes, and it's not too far away as far as the date and the beginnings when the killing started in 1988. Jack the Ripper has always been my favorite serial killer because of the fact that he was never caught. There's been a lot of theories about who he was, but he has never been caught. Uh, I have my own, but I don't think he was anybody really well known. I think he was a guy that disliked women of the night, and I think he worked with a doctor. But I don't think he was a doctor, so. Um, there was a document of, of one person had where they saw two people together, two guys, and then that was just kind of overlooked, like a legal document, and nobody seems to pay attention to it. So I don't know, but I think it was two. Especially to get away with that much, you kind of have to work together. But anyway, that is Morticia's theory on the matter. And we will move on to the actual action figure. I don't like the McFarlane version. I think it's the one that has the butcher and the apron and whatever. They're going with the butcher theory. I like the gentleman theory. And he has a cloth cloak. And then under that, it can come off. Let's see, we can take it off. I'm just gonna take his knife out of his hand. He doesn't really wanna let it go. I'm sorry, Jack, you can have it back really soon. There are no ladies of the night here, so don't worry. <laughs> eh, it doesn't, it, it can come off, but it's like, it's just going to be maybe more work. Than, oh, there it goes. See, just complain a little bit and it works out. I was gonna say, it's more work than I wanna deal with and then it comes off. Okay, so then his tail coat is under that, his nice proper suit. What? He's proper. Yes, just for some reason he started to remind me without the other stuff of uh, the darker Abe Lincoln somehow, like the, the structure of the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a top hat. You know this was a thing in the Victorian times. Yes. Here, here's his hat off. Okay. He doesn't have to be Abe Lincoln anymore. But that was a good point. Gomez is, is helpful because of the fact that you can see that he, that Jack, not Gomez, um, that top hat can come off as well. So the hat and the uh, cloak are the only two things that come off. He's, I think, a nine inch figure, seven or nine inches. Um, check the site for Mezco Jack the Ripper if you want him and, and you'll see which inches, but he's more than six. I think he's like a nine inch. I remember nine inch. Yeah. Okay, good. And that's his hair. And he's got these big like brows and he's like, you know, he's into his killing zeal. He really feels strongly about this, as you can see by his expression. And he's a gentleman, he's got nice clothes. He might not be having gentlemanly activity right now, but he has gentlemanly clothes. You know what I like about the hat? Um, it comes on and off, which I like, but it actually stays on if you want it on. It's not gonna fall off unless, I mean, it can, but I mean, you know, sometimes if an action figure comes with a hat, it'll like come off if you barely move it or look at it funny, it's falling off. His, you can get it stuck on there and if you throw him down or do that, I mean, you know, it'll come off, but you kind of have to do a little bit more than some I've seen where you just brush by with a light breeze and it's off or move him or turn his hand and it's off, even though his hand has nothing to do with his head. Um, our Freddy Krueger doll that we're going to review eventually um, is more rare. I haven't seen him reviewed. I've seen a bunch of Freddy Krueger dolls, but not ours. But anyway, his hat comes off very easily. But this is how Jack's head turns. He has some articulation. And he gets into his movements, so we don't want to keep him from moving. <laughs> and his arm kind of moves at the elbow for nice killing strokes. <laughs> and this arm moves at the shoulder. And some at the elbow. It's kind of a little bit creakier, but it does do it. And his feet are like in a crouch. And they don't really move that much, but his waist does. Am I holding him okay? Yes. For you to get him okay. There he goes. And the cloak kind of has a chain closure here that had a snap and it just kind of died or something, I don't know, but it doesn't really, I mean, it stays on fine when you put it on and you have to go through effort as you saw me do to take it off. And I'm about to put it back on and show you what's inside his friendly medical bag. And I think this is a really well-made figure and I've always liked the gentleman um, persona of him. You have to pull his arm kind of backwards, bend it back to get the cloak on and off more easily. So 
There we go. Now he's not Abe Lincoln out anymore. Is this better, Gomez? Yes. Okay. He seems very fit, too, somehow. Like, it, it would seem like he has lots of strength in his back as he's uh, plunging the knife, maybe. Like. Well, yeah, he's not He's not chubby. He's, he's well built. So, um, let's put him over here, out of the way. And as you can, well, okay, usually he stands up fine on his own. I think he's tripping over his cloak and the, maybe Granny Adams over here. She needs to get out of his way, because he doesn't really care about old ladies, but she should still be out of his way. Okay. Now, as you can see, he stands fine. And now we will investigate his satchel. He comes with a nice medical bag looking satchel, which could have been a medical bag or a Glasden bag, because back in the day, men would carry those as a fashion statement with their accoutrements inside in the Victorian times. And Glasden bags um, kind of had the medical bag look. There are still Glasden bags today. They're just different kinds. But the Glasden bags did have the medical bag look. Now, I will let go and show you each weapon. This is a shorter knife. This one already has some traces of blood on it. Now this one is actually the one I had in his hand, but all of them go in there. Here is the one that I had him holding. Um, it's kind of got a neat fancy handle. I'm about to put it back in his hand because I took it away from him to take off his cloak and we don't want to take his weapons away from him. He might start feeling insecure. Yes, here it goes. I like that handle. I think it's neat. He might have had this first in his hand when we got him, so I just left it. But anyway, it stays in nicely enough. Um, did it go the other way? I'm Interesting just... that the shorter blade is the one that's most thoroughly covered in blood, where the longer one seems to only be covered superficially. Well, he probably just made the general opening and then his little... Ah, Jack! Then his doctor friend said, hey, wait, we should use this other one to make the right incisions that I need. And Jack's like, okay, fine. The blade's not as fancy, but whatever. I guess it's important. And then the doctor guy's like, are we really going to talk about blades right now? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> We've got some killing to do. And Jack's like, okay. And actually, that might be one of his favorites. He likes that long one, too. Let's see. This one is also only covered on the very edge with blood. But it's such a pretty blade, all delicate and graceful. And it seems well used based on its uh, darkish brownish. I told handle. you it was his favorite. Yes, that makes perfect sense. And now we will get into one more knife before we have other stuff. We have other stuff in here, don't worry. Maybe I'll let him hold this one too. <laughs> I'm distracting from the review by playing with my figure. He wants to get this knife. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorite action figures just because <laughs> I like knives and oh, see that snaps in nicely. They all go in his hand really nicely. If you were wondering what kind of thing my Tisha likes. <laughs> 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 Uh, this one is a very charming knife. I, I like especially its handle. Its blade is okay, but I like its handle more. It seems more mm -hmm. intricate somehow, almost like it's made out of two cylinders combined together. Maybe the doctor likes that blade the best. It seems very interesting to me. I don't know why, but... Like... Well, because I like the other one. You can like one. Yes. That's all right. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of the doctor, let me have that one back. And this is his syringe. Gomez has a few of these my mom gave him because my family collects antiques and they're like the metal syringes. He has a couple and then that is the metal syringe. This one has the green uh, layout. The only difference between it and my bigger version is that mine is all like yellowish colored and it also it's like brass. Yeah. Because yours is brass. This yeah. is like green to brass. Maybe it's even older. Yeah. See the doctor was like, you know, I'm not gonna use my good stuff, you know, if we're gonna go and you need to you need to kill women of the night, I need to experiment on bodies. Let's just use the old stuff and take out the old stuff and not use the good stuff in the office in case the the boss starts sniffing around. They called the cops boss when they wrote taunting letters with their various handwritings, which again could scream of two people with all the different handwritings and different styles and the way they were talking in the letters to the police. But anyway, um, that is a yeah. cool looking hook. I'm sure they had some t easy time taking out organs with that. And to my understanding, at least, there is like the pirate hook and the butcher hook, and the difference might be, as far as I've noticed at least, that the butcher hook has this curvature at the end where the pirate's hook is just straight underneath the blade. But that's just my impression. All right, well, you're the hook expert. I like it. It's good. <laughs> and 
Zen. I don't know how many of you actually care enough to read the history of this, but um, they also sent a part of a kidney to the cops as a taunt, which I thought was kind of interesting and funny. And so here is La Kidney. If you ever wonder what a kidney looks like, there you go. It's a nice replica of a human kidney. It almost looks a little bit like a baby alien. <laughs> a baby alien. <laughs> <laughs> because it has this, like... Well, you have two baby aliens working inside to process your coffee right now. Oh, thank you, Ellen. It's okay. <laughs> That's why some symbiotic relationships are <laughs> useful. Maybe it should be an ATI instead of a UTI if anybody gets one, like a bladder infection, an alien tract infection, ATI. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes, thank you. And this is Halloween time, you know, so we're trying to show a good Halloween review, so um, we're letting our gore come out. Yeah. <laughs> This is the bag empty that Gomez may demonstrate. I like the fact that it actually is a useful bag and not just like an accoutrement. You can actually use it like he does. Like you can put his stuff in here and not lose it. Because with little action figure parts like this, it's easy to lose them. You know? So. And it is my impression also that they were really well made back then. Like quality of material, like where they would last maybe 45, 50 years. That kind of He's a bag. talking about the real bag, by the way, not the action figure. It's not quite that old. Right? Yeah. We can go like back in the day. Because things <laughs> change so fast yeah. that really five years ago, back in the day, like you can say that. Because really things have changed so fast these days that it makes you feel old. Like you're like, you know. Ten years ago, when toys were six dollars at Walmart, it wasn't that long ago. You whippersnappers. So it's like, okay, we're not old, but when I say back in the day, that's sad because it wasn't that long ago. But anyway, this was not from Walmart. We ordered this online. I just said that because back in the day, toys were ten dollars at Walmart, and I think it was more recently than ten years ago. Actually, ten years ago, they were six dollars at Walmart, and then I went in one day and they weren't, and I was like, really? What? I like my six dollar action figures. Why do you think I come here? Okay, we're digressing. Back in the day, the Glasden bags were made very well. Is that what you're saying, Gomez? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, it just seems like, you know, they're like newer technologies for making materials and stuff. But I think with bags specifically, they don't necessarily make them as sturdy. They, they don't make them like that, that anymore. <laughs> anyway, you know the song we're referencing, you're cute. If you don't, go listen to good 80s music. But we, the song is not really exactly being quoted. It's just... Paraphrased. Paraphrased. But yeah, it's sad that they don't make good Gladstone bags anymore. I always wonder if the purses that are like a thousand bucks are actually made better than the knockoffs. Probably not, but I'm not going to pay a thousand bucks to find out. Because I don't care. But yeah, I think... Why does the devil wear Prada? Because it doesn't lo last long. And somebody <laughs> has to spend money on my So, do you think the Gladstone bag lasted them through their killings then, Gomez? Uh, yeah, I would think so. They probably didn't have to change it more than once in, in a lifetime of killings. <laughs> on a lifetime. So, but, they, you know, they were supposed to have quit after like five, probably because the doctor got paranoid about the oncoming forensics. Well, then what? it, it would be gently retired, just oh, like God. Jack's head. <laughs> See, it will come up if he falls over. He doesn't usually fall over. He just doesn't really like it here on the table. He's like... Eh. That's, by the way, the insides of the top head that just fell off. Yes, thank you. Can. It's good to demonstrate. <laughs> yes. He likes it in the bedroom on the shelf near Stripe, the Gremlin, what I have not reviewed yet. And yes, I've reviewed a lot of Gremlin's Stripes, but this is my favorite one, and I'm saving him and hoarding him, and I'll review him last. But he hangs out with Stripe and... Something else. Where is that? Maybe. All right, you need to stop. You're not gonna fall over. He wants to lean over our door knocker, the gargoyle. Aww. <laughs> you like gargoyles? Gargoyles, <laughs> don't you, Jackie? Okay. Maybe he tries. They will defend him from the cops. Let's fold your collar down. You're not really in the rain right now, even though it does rain a lot in White Chapel. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> fall like this in the bedroom, you guys. He just. <laughs> that sounds like what many people. <laughs> <laughs> he is just not really like, I don't know, he's unhappy today. He just is. But he'll be okay very soon. Probably because the knife was taken away from him prematurely. I know, you got it back. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Now he's holding it better. He feels better. He looks somehow sulkier to me. I don't know. He is. He's just like, you know, it's just <laughs> messing with my jacket and, and, and tossing me about. Okay, you can also, um, I, I think I said his legs didn't want to move, but I was incorrect. Maybe that's why he was unhappy they do move. And you can spread them out or whatever to widen his stance a little. That's what he needed. There you go. Is everything cool now? Are we cool? More or less, more or less. Okay, I don't want to make you upset. We're good. <laughs> we are good. But anyway, um, I really like this figure. I would give it a 10 out of 10. I don't have any complaints. 
Um, we did do a little Jack the Ripper action figure shopping before we got him back in the day. So, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, we checked out the other one and didn't really like it. There might have been one or two other ones, at least one, that we did not like. Some of McFarlane's stuff I like, and some of it I just feel like he goes over the top. Like, it's like, what did you take drug-wise before you did this or had this idea? Like, um, you know, the Faces of Madness or something. It's cool that he made a Vlad Tepes action figure, but, like, the Rasputin one was just, like, he had all these hooks and nails and weird, like, accoutrements that he was torturing himself with. Or, I mean, like... He got confused with Spinhead a little. I know. So did you read anything? Do you know who <laughs> Rasputin is? And 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 <laughs> we like history. And so anyway, um, he did not make this one. Mezco did this one, and I like this version a lot. Um, it just kind of feels more authentic, even though none of us really know, um, you know. But when Gomez and I first met. We were having a serial killer discussion. Wasn't that romantic, darling? Entirely. And he said Son of Sam was his favorite because, you know, he thought the dog thing was funny. See, there, Jack can hold his bag nicely there. Oh. And, um, see, will it make you fall? I usually put it beside him, so I'm not sure if it will make him fall. So I'm here to support Jack. As oh. He leans forward because his bag is too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um... But anyway, Gomez liked some Son of Sam because he thought the dog was funny. Wasn't that it? Yeah. That it was funny that he had the thing going on with the dog. Like Supernatural homicidal dog. It's like you can't beat it if you make it up. <laughs> <laughs> but I told him that Jack the Ripper was my favorite because he was the first, you know, major serial killer known and never got caught. And, um, yeah, I just like him, so... But going postal, like, you know, that Son of Sam was a postman and stuff. That's probably where it started, wasn't it? The whole going postal thing? Like, um, I don't really know, but it seems really reasonable. I'm like, wow, that's cool. He gave rise to the expression. Wow. Oh, well, you can still like him, but Jackie and I think that Jackie is cooler and his doctor friend or whatever. Mm. Well, Jack definitely looks charming th <laughs> this way. Yes, he does. He's all doing his thing now. He's happy. He's got his knife in a good grip. Getting back to business. Ready for his anniversary of his Whitechapel killings. It's coming up soon. Does he have a favorite cut? Um, <laughs> like a favorite move? Yes. He likes to use that the longest knife, you know, the one I said he likes. Yes. And just like, uh, you know, <laughs> yes. unzipping something, you know, just. <laughs> <laughs> That's creative writer's imagination for us. Yes, we are horror writers, you guys. I hope we're not freaking out some of you mellow people who aren't inter interested in horror, which, you know, maybe you didn't even watch this, so it's okay, but um, we are horror writers, and we're having fun. It's near Halloween, and it's all good, so boo and all that, and we hope you enjoyed our review of Jack the Ripper's action figure by Mezco. If you happen to be new, check out our other videos. Like, share, subscribe. This has been Batweb Gothic Reviews.